Hi guys, it's Jen from the AlignLife.co. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to tell you how to get your life together. Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Jen. I am a life coach and law of attraction teacher. And today I'm going to share with you some tips that will help you to get your life back on track. So this can happen to the best of us. Maybe you have gone on vacation. Maybe you have just experienced some sort of setback in your life and you become a little too relaxed about your life, no matter what the situation is you can always get your life back together. And really, your life probably isn't as off track as you think it is. But today, I'm just going to give you some tips on how you can start to get control back and start to evaluate where you are so you can start building in some new habits that will help to get you where you want to go. So my number one tip for helping you to get your life back together is to create some space in your schedule. So everything good takes a little time and energy, right? So if you are really committed to this idea of evaluating where you are, evaluating what you're currently doing with yourself and creating something better, then you've got to create a little room for it in your schedule. And these days we are all so busy. It is so easy to just schedule in like social event after social event after work event, etc., etc., until the point that you don't have any time left. But you are always the most important thing in your life. And even if you have to say no to a few things, even if you have to go quiet for a few weeks, it is so crucial that you do this whenever you feel called to, because if you don't take control, if you don't take back the reins and feel like you are in control of your life, you are going to feel really lost, really depressed, like you're stuck or in a rut. Um, eventually. So it is really key that if you start to feel this feeling of feeling lost, that you take action and start to fix it instead of waiting for it to snowball and become worse. So take some time for you because all of this other stuff is going to take a little bit of time. So it is okay if you want to take a week off from your social engagements, if you just want to go home every night and do some stuff for you. Trust me, that is so much more important than whatever else you have on the books. So number one tip is create some space in your schedule for you. Tip number two for how to get your life together is to do some spring cleaning. So maybe you guessed that I was going to say this. If you don't know, when I originally started off The Aligned Life, I was talking all about the power to change your life by changing your space. And so I am still an avid believer in this concept. So for you, what that means is that if you have let things slack around your home a little too much, it is time to take action. And I know some people have resistance to this. I know people will say things like, I don't really care about my home environment or that stuff doesn't really bother me, but trust me, it does bother you more than you know. So our brain is taking in all the information of everything that we can see around us at every moment of every day. So when you think about this, you are in your home for hours and hours and hours at a time. That is a place where you probably spend most of your time, correct? So if you are living in a space where your brain is constantly looking at the piles of stuff that you need to figure out what to do with, um, at the piles of things you want to donate, at the piles of stuff that is left kind of in limbo and hanging, your brain is processing that even when you're not consciously thinking about it. So actually, minimalism is actually wonderful for your brain. And part of the reason why you have such an epically wonderful night's sleep when you go away and stay in a hotel is because you're not looking at your own stuff. <laughs> so I know that everyone makes excuses about this, but honestly, your environment is crucial. We create our environment. So our environment is a product of what's in here. So one of the ways we can get back control of our life is by taking care of our environment. Because when we look around and we feel good, we will feel better about ourselves. Our life will feel more manageable. So I really urge you, even if you think that, having 
a neat and tidy and organized home isn't a priority, just try it out and see how much more mental space it gives you. And doing a spring cleaning probably will take you more than one evening, but that is totally okay. Um, break it up, do it over a week or a month or whatever you can do, and just make sure that you commit to this. Go through everything in your space, especially the things that you see around you. I mean, you have to get in the closets too, you guys, but the things that you see the most are the most important to deal with. So go through it, get rid of anything that isn't serving you anymore, get rid of any mementos from old relationships, get rid of any old weird mementos that aren't really making you happy anymore. People get so attached to their stuff, but even if you don't have the stuff, you're going to still have the memory, so the stuff doesn't really matter. So I highly recommend taking the time to go through your place with a fine tooth comb, getting back to basics, getting super organized. And this isn't about spending a lot of money or buying organizational stuff. In fact, if you're making too many trips to the container store, you probably have too much stuff because you shouldn't need that much stuff to organize your stuff. You should just get rid of your stuff and not bother with the containers. So I should probably make a whole video about this myself and I, maybe I will. But anyways, that is my second tip for you guys is to spring clean your space. Tip number three for how to get your life together is to do a digital cleaning. So now that we have our home all squeaky clean and beautiful and organized, it's time to do the same thing when it comes to our phone or our laptop or any other device that you might happen to have. So for me, I take a lot of photos and I upload them to Instagram and I always end up with like three or four copies of the same picture with different filters on it. And if I don't go backwards in time and delete them, they just end up taking up a lot of space on my external hard drive or on my phone or whatever. So we all tend to do this, I think, these days. We all tend to keep a lot of digital clutter around and it can be really overwhelming to let that all pile up over time. So a couple months ago, I actually did this. I went through my iPhoto drive, which I haven't done in ages, and just deleted all the photos that aren't that great. Sometimes I have duplicate photos taken at the same time of the same thing. And so I just picked the best one and then just deleted the rest. And it created so much more room in my iPhoto drive. And now my iPhoto is way more easy to use because I don't have to sift through so much junk. So the same applies to your files. The same could apply to your iTunes library. Just whatever files you have on your desktop computer, your laptop computer, your phone, your iPad, whatever it is, just go in, have a look. Get rid of the apps that you don't use. Get rid of the photos that you've already stored somewhere else. Just get back to basics. And I just don't think people think about spring cleaning their um, digital products as much as they do their home, but it is just as important because you are looking at your phone way more times a day than you think you are. So it is really crucial that you keep everything organized, that you get rid of all the stuff you're not using, that you make sure you can find the things you do need to find regularly. Um, so yeah, just say, take some extra time and go through your stuff and just get it back to basics, start fresh, start organized, and just put this on your schedule as a regular part of your cleaning routine and it will keep you so much more organized and happy, I guarantee it. Tip number four for how to get your life together is to analyze your habits. So <laughs> we all like to think that we have these healthy morning routines or healthy evening routines, but sometimes you need to go in and check and see what you are actually doing with your life. We all have the best of intentions, but sometimes it's really easy to slide back into complacency and to start not doing the things that we know are really good for us. So I want you guys to be really honest with yourself and look at what you're doing day in and day out and really ask yourself if there's a habit there that's missing that you would like to reincorporate or maybe there's a habit that you've developed that needs to go away. So for example, maybe you used to go running every morning, but you kind of stopped doing it. You've stopped committing to your workouts and you started to even notice the changes in your body. Maybe today is the perfect day to go back and really recommit to that morning workout routine. And maybe you need to switch it up. Maybe you need to go for a walk instead or do yoga at home with a YouTube video or whatever. 
but you just need to make some changes to recommit to the things that are important to you. So if being healthy and having a healthy body is important to you, you need to make sure that that commitment is reflected in your habits because if it's not reflected in your habits, it is not actually part of your routine and you aren't actually doing it. So look at your habits, look at what you're doing regularly and look to see where the discrepancies are and where there is a discrepancy, it's time to make some changes. Tip number five for how to get your life together is to check your schedule. So this kind of dovetails on the thing we we're just talking about with habits, but we only have so much time in a day. We only have so much energy in a day. So where you spend your money and where you spend your time says a lot about who you are. So it is time to reevaluate where you're spending your time every day. So for example, I've met so many people over the years who are like, oh, I'd really love to go to the gym, but I just don't have any time. And when you ask them a little bit more about their life and what they do, it turns out that they go home every night and watch five hours of Netflix. So that's kind of a big excuse, right? Like obviously five hours of TV is a really long time, especially if you're doing it every day. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't watch TV or have to get rid of your Netflix membership. But what I am saying is that you are never going to get those hours back. The time that you spend watching Netflix is probably not going to pay off big to you in your life over time. So you need to be mindful of where you're spending that time. And if you're spending too much of it in these fun activities, it's going to inevitably take you away from some other things in your life that you think are important. So the only way to keep evaluated of where you are at is to be really honest about how you're spending your time. And it can be really, really sobering to realize how much time you're spending watching Real Housewives, that's my personal favorite, you guys, or scrolling through Pinterest or whatever your little habit is, it can be really sobering to realize how much of your life you're spending doing that thing. So we all only have 24 hours in a day and it is up to you to spend those hours wisely. It's like a little wallet of time and you only get so much time every day and tomorrow it magically fills up again, but you only get so much time. So you need to be really judicious with your choices about where you are spending your time. And you need to ask yourself whether these activities are really helpful to you and what you want your life to be or not. And TV is the one I always pick on because it's so obvious. Um, and I always say, you are never going to look back at the end of your life and wish you watched more Netflix. Like you are never going to wish that. You are going to wish that you took more walks, watched more sunsets, took more vacations, spend more time with your friends. Those are things that you will get more value out of rather than mindlessly sitting in front of the box. So your Achilles heel might not be TV, it might be the internet, it might be reading books, I don't know, but I just want you guys to be really honest with yourself and really get back to basics. And if there's a time suck happening somewhere in your little universe, it's time to put the brakes on it and get back to it. It's truly important for you. So that's my video for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, my name is Jen. I am from thealignlife.co. I am a life coach and law of attraction teacher. And if you want to learn more about me, please come on over to the website. I also have a free law of attraction intention setting audio for you guys to download over there. So come on over and sign up for updates because I'd love to see you there. Thank you again for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a like. And if you want to hear more from me, hit the subscribe button so you get notifications when my new videos go up. I'll be back here soon with another video. So until then, just remember, get ready for the miracle. Namaste.